Uh, and we still plan and governments still make policy on what? On nothing. It's like a definition once I, I, I came across about uh, the contradictions between, uh, you know, about vision. And they said, vision without action is a daydream. But action without vision is a nightmare. <laughs> and we have a lot of the latter. I often tell the story as well, to give you an idea. When I go to middle class or upper class, which I do a lot to secondary schools, to talk about justice and social issues and all that sort of stuff to, to students in second level. You know, the other time I go into a middle class or a, 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 an upper class school, and the teacher might whisper to me, so, there's, a, there's a boy in that class and his dad is in prison. Or there's a girl in that class or his dad is in prison. Of course, I go into the class, chat to them for an hour or whatever to be, come out and never know the person, or the person would never come near me. Now, on the other hand, when I go to, to very socially disadvantaged areas where most of the people who go to prison come from, I'm not in the classroom a second when all the lads are up around me. Do you know me, Dad? Do you know me, brother? <laughs> Can things change? Education is the answer, and not academic education exclusively. Education in a general term. Social education, personal education, and with some academic education. I've often said that we're very good in Ireland, generally speaking, at educating people on how to make a living. We are not as good at educating people on how to live. So I started with a story, and I'm going to finish with a little story about why, how an individual person can change a life. This young man, um, Jonathan was his name, he was 20 years of age, he looked 12, he was, he was in, um, imprisoned in Mount Joy, he was there for a few weeks, and he wandered into the music class. And Larry, the teacher, was teaching a class. But Larry met him and he said, yeah, what do you want? And he said, I, I just heard the music, I, want, I just came up, I've been interested. Well, he said, I'm teaching a class. He said, here's my guitar, play with that, and when I'm finished, I'll come back to you. And Larry went on teaching his class. Then he heard the Jonathan plucking at the guitar. When he went back, he said, where did you learn music? And Jonathan said, I never learned music. He said, where did you learn to play the guitar? He said, I never learned the guitar. He said, as a matter of fact, I never had any musical instrument in my hand. And he came up to me and he said, could you give me, I was governor of Mount Joy at the time, he said, could you give me 169 euro? And I said, for what? And he said, I want to buy a guitar for a genius that's down in the prison. So we bought him the guitar. And he went on to study music. He left Mount Joy and went on to third level education to study classical music. A couple of years ago, I was down in that lawn one night and this woman approached me at the end of a talk to parents and she said, do you remember him? Naming him. And I said, of course I do. She said, he's teaching classical music today. The person I want to, to emphasize is not him, Jonathan, but Larry, the guy who, who kept his eyes and ears open and said, look, I can make a difference. Thank you very much.